It was a rude awakening for Edward Kabiru Njau after Milimani resident magistrates in Kian Tobiko found the former immigration officer guilty handing him a seven month custodial term. Tobiko did not give the officer an option of fine. Kabiru was convicted of allowing Aneke Chimenze back into the country illegally after he was deported alongside Nigerian businessman Anthony Chinedu in 2013. The two were among 14 Nigerian nationals deported after being declared prohibited immigrants by the government of Kenya. Tobiko rejected the accused defense that he had not been furnished by the list of immigrants at the time of clearance. Njau had in his defense said the list was supplied to the Namanga border post on July 10, 2013, a day after he had cleared the suspected drug trafficker into the country. Meanwhile, an Ethiopian terror suspect alleged to be involved in the attack of Deputy President William Ruto's home will remain in custody pending hearing and determination of his case. Ali Elema Wario was Thursday charged with being a member of terror group Al-Shabaab, having been suspected to be an accomplice to Mohammed Ibrahim Mohammed, the slain attacker at the DP's home two months ago. He denied the charge but pleaded guilty to a second charge of being unlawfully present in Kenya. I therefore that the accused person shall remain commanded in custody and the hearing of the national case. And three people arrested while in possession of ballot papers in Athi River on Wednesday will remain in custody until Monday next week. Cecilia Mbola Kimeu, Nzioka Bonfaz Mutungi, and Omondi Stephen Okoth, however, did not take plea as Machako's senior principal magistrate Caroline Ocharo ruled that she had no jurisdiction to listen to any case pertaining to election petitions. I'm going to refer the file to Honorable Women Hamona for further directions and that will be done on Monday, the 2nd of October. Thank you very much. Lilian Otieno for scales of justice.